Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over in-flight alignment for the Viper. This is a procedure you can do in case you mess up your alignment on the ground. The manual said you can do it with or without GPS. Every time I try to do it without GPS, it always ends up not working correctly. I'm not sure if it's bugged or if I'm just doing something wrong. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it with GPS. If you want to do an in-flight alignment without GPS, there is a procedure for it in the manual. It's just that every time I do it, it just doesn't work right for some reason. But it could just be me doing something wrong. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it with GPS. In order to have GPS in your mission, the mission date needs to be set during or after March 28, 1994. You can adjust the date by clicking the cloud button and, and setting it right here. Also, you need to have USA on your team. You can adjust the teams by clicking this button. The only way to get around that is by going to Customize, Mission Options, Enforcing Unrestricted Sat Nav, and then enabling it. And that will allow everyone in the mission to have access to GPS. In order to do an in-flight alignment, first you need to make sure your plane is flying straight and level. The manual says it doesn't need to be straight and level for the entire alignment. It just needs to be straight and level for the initial part, which I'll show you in a second. Then what you do is set the switch to in-flight align. And then you're going to see it say standby here. So while it says standby, you need to keep the plane straight and level. Then it's going to say align. Once it says align, you don't need to keep it straight and level anymore. You can just fly around if you want. And once it says align, you can press the sequence switch and you can see it's gonna count down all the way to 10. Once it hits 10, you can set this back to nav, and then your INS should be aligned properly. That's how you do an in-flight alignment in the Viper. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.